Question 3 is to find values of sine and cosine by using sum and difference identities. But again, since it's the electronic part, we can use calculator and solve it directly. It's from the lesson 11.3. Now, all we need is a calculator. Only thing, the thing you need to remember in these questions is whether it's given in degrees or in radians. Let's take our calculators now. If you have cleared your calculator by default, it's in degree mode. And over here, we have been given degrees. So sine 165 would be equal to square root 6 minus square root 2 divided by 4. That's the correct answer. And cosine 135 is negative root 2 by 2. Similarly, you can solve the others. But here now we have radians. Sorry, yeah, pi. Pi is in radians, not in degrees. So it's 7 divided by 12 pi. Let's write 7 pi shift and the symbol here. If I press equal to, this is absolutely wrong because it's in degrees, isn't it? Even with the bracket, it's the same answer. Now let's press shift, mode, and then 4. And this is the correct answer. It's negative. Now here you can see it's swapped. Why? Because it's minus root 6 root 2. Or you can write it as a root minus root 6 plus root 2 by 4. It's the same thing. It's just that they've written the positive value first and then the negative value. What about this one? It is the same thing sine. It is pi divided by 12. You can close the bracket or no, it's fine, but it's better to close the bracket. And here we go. That is root 6 minus root 2 by 4. Similarly, do the other problems. I'll do the radians first over here because it's already in radian mode, just minus here. And instead of sine, we have cosine. And the value is root 6 plus 4. Uh, I mean, it's C, the root 2 plus root 6 by 4 or root 6 plus root 2 by 4. It's the same thing because you just have them rearranged. It's like 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2. It's the same answer will be 5 itself. It's the same thing over here. If you press SD, both of these are absolutely same. But when we solve this over here, tan 195, let me do it in the radian mode. Now it's already in radians. This is wrong. But now let me change it to the degree mode. Yes, this is correct. So this is how we solve it. Please do solve all these problems by yourselves. Now when we come to secant, now tan is again simple, right? 165 and you have the options to check your answer so it's pretty simple but what about secant secant is 1 by cosine that is reciprocal identities isn't it 1 by cosine is secant and 1 by sine is uh, cosecant so i write 1 by cosine 1275 degrees and the answer is negative root 6 plus root 2. Or you can have it as root 2 plus minus root 6. So you might have this in your answers or options. So don't be worried if this is not there. Don't think, oh, this is not there in the exam. No, this is absolutely there, but it's just rearranged. That's the only thing. And now here we have sine 735. Very simple. But what about this here? Tangent. We have 23 pi, shift and pi over here, divided by 12. And make sure it's in radian mode because we have pi. Whenever there's pi, it's radian. If this degree is not there, it means it's in radian. And it's minus 2 plus root 3. Over here as well, it is cosecant. What is cosecant? It is 1 by sine. And then we have to write it as phi pi by 12. And then close the bracket here and it's in radian mode already so that's just equal to here we go what about this one it is cotangent that is one by tan because we do not have cotangent option directly and then we have one one three pi divided by 12 and now if you press equal to you'll get an error why because in this denominator the brackets are very important you have to close the bracket here Otherwise, you get an error. The answer is 2 minus 2, 3. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.